Hodgkin lymphoma is one of the most frequent lymphomas in the world. Even it is frequent lymphoma, generally this malignancy still rare. It affects 2 to 3 person per 100,000. About 40% of this malignancy is associated with Epstein-Barr virus, EBV, infection commonly in teenage. Hodgkin lymphoma is classified two important categories. First is classical Hodgkin lymphoma, a nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma. 95% of cases are classical form. Most common sign of Hodgkin lymphoma is enlarged lymph nodes around neck or axillary region. 60 to 70% of cases enlarged lymph nodes are noted around cervical area. This lymph nodes aren't painful. 30% of cases are axillary lymph nodes. And around 50% of cases mediastinal lymph nodes also involved. Only 10 to 15% of patients with Hodgkin lymphoma have extranodal disease, and the commonly affected organs are bone, bone marrow, lung, and liver. Other symptoms include fevers, drenching night sweats and unintentional weight loss. These symptoms aren't specific for Hodgkin lymphoma and presence this symptoms doesn't mean Hodgkin lymphoma itself. This three symptoms collectively is called B symptoms. Fever is considered temperature more than 38 C degree. Weight loss of 10% or more of baseline weight in the previous six months. Weight loss and fever are more important symptoms than night sweats isolated. So, night sweats alone do not confer an adverse prognosis. Other symptoms include pruritus, especially after bathing or after ingesting alcohol. Fatigue. Risk factors for Hodgkin lymphoma include being in early adulthood, aged 20 to 39 years, most often, or late adulthood, aged 65 years and older, less often. Being male. Having a previous infection with the Epstein-Barr virus in the teenage years or early childhood. Having a first-degree relative with Hodgkin lymphoma. Diagnosis. Hodgkin lymphoma cannot be diagnosed with a blood test. Although the complete blood test count can have some role, the measures the levels of different cells in the blood. For example, if the lymphoma invades the bone marrow, where new blood cells are made, a person might have anemia, not enough red blood cells. A high white blood cell count is another possible sign of Hodgkin lymphoma, although it can also be caused by infection. A Hodgkin lymphoma is marked by the presence of a type of cell called the Reed, Sturmberg cell. The diagnosis of HL involves a multi-stage process. The removal and histopathological analysis of a lymph node or punch biopsy of another affected organ is the method of choice for diagnosis. Thus, pathological expert review is recommended. A fine needle biopsy alone is only sufficient if sufficient material for histopathological diagnosis can be obtained. Other risk factors are genetic predisposition, high incidence among patients' relatives, immunodeficiency states, and environmental factors, high incidence in farmers, woodworkers, and meat processors. Hodgkin lymphoma has an excellent overall prognosis with approximately an 80% cure rate. The history of HL treatment represents a remarkable success story in which HL has turned from an incurable disease to a neoplasm with an excellent prognosis. First-line treatment with stage-adapted treatment consisting of chemotherapy and or radiotherapy results in cure rates of approximately 80%. Second-line treatment mostly consists of intensive salvage chemotherapy followed by high-dose chemotherapy, HDCT, and autologous stem cell transplantation, ASCT. Standard treatment in the United States, US, consists of ABVD, doxorubicin, bleomycin, vinblastine, and dacarbazine. In Germany, the BCOP regimen, bleomycin, etoposide, doxorubicin, cyclophosphamide, vincristine, procarbazine, prednisone, is more popular. A third regimen that is used is Stanford V, doxorubicin, vinblastine, meclorethamine, vincristine, bleomycin, etoposide, and prednisone.